So the first thing you're going to do is lay your paper down sideways, wideways, landscape, and notice that your fabric is probably close to about half of the size of a piece of paper. So we are going to start, and I want you to follow along these steps with me by taking your paper and folding it in half, hamburger style, or the wide way. Okay. Your sewing can be oriented vertically or it can be oriented horizontally. So you can have it in portrait or landscape. Choice is yours. I think I'm going to work with landscape, but you could choose portrait, that's up to you. And we can see now when I put my fabric over the top of my paper that they are almost exactly the same size. That doesn't go quite to the edges. So I'm gonna keep my design that I'm gonna plan kind of in this area here. Now I'm not putting this rectangle on my sewing, but this is kind of my area that I have to draw in that I know will show up on my fabric. So once you have folded your paper so that it's the right size for creating a design, the choice is yours. Your imagination is your only limit. What do you want to sew a picture of? It could be a picture, an image, it could be shapes, it might be a word or a letter or a number. Anything that you are interested in is what you can choose to put on your sewing. And if you were at Smithfield last year and have sewn a simple picture with a running stitch, you'll know that you don't wanna to put too much detail in it because it's hard to get lots of really tiny details, but if you keep your shapes a little bit basic, that'll make it easier for you. I'm going to think for a second about what I'd like to draw on mine, and then you can think for a moment what you'd like to draw on yours, and go ahead and draw it now. When you have finished drawing whatever it is you'd like to sew onto your piece of fabric, you'll notice that the pencil might be a little bit hard to see. So the next step is going to be to trace your pencil lines with something dark like a marker. I'm going to trace mine with marker. A dark color like blue or black will show up well through the holes in your fabric. I chose to draw a large bubble letter P with hearts and this is gonna be a green tennis ball for my dog Pete because he's really important to me and he loves his tennis ball. The blue that I'm tracing it with has nothing to do with what colors I'm going to use when I start to sew. It's just to make this lines a little bit thicker and dark enough for me to see when I place my fabric on top. Okay, and I decided to do this box just to mark where my edges were. Um, but you know what, I kind of like the idea of the box there to kind of frame it. So I might come in just a little bit narrower. And maybe I'll put a box around mine. You do not have to do that. But it's also okay to change your mind. Okay, so this is nice and bold. You trace yours. If you don't have a marker, maybe you could go over it with a black crayon or go over it with your pencil several times so your pencil lines are dark and thick. And you can see there is my image underneath my fabric. All right, now I've got my image here. You can see it through the fabric because it's got a loose weave. I'm right-handed, so I'm gonna take my left hand and make an L, place it here to hold my fabric still. But before I do that, I'm gonna uncap my marker I'm gonna make my L. You can trace over with a pencil. It just shows up very lightly. It might be harder to see. And I'm gonna start over here. This fabric is rough, so I'm going to do little short strokes so that it doesn't get snagged. I don't know if I'll have enough yarn 
to do that box around the, the edge, the border. So I'm not gonna trace that on there yet. I can come back later. And notice I'm moving my hand to hold the fabric still. I can come back later and add that box after I finish sewing the tennis ball and the P and the hearts. And if I have more fab, if I have more thread left, I can go back and add that. Okay. I'm gonna move that out. So my fabric is ready to go. The next video is going to show you how to get started with sewing thread on top of your fabric to sew that image in place and cover up your marker. So you'll need to get your needle and thread ready to go forward with that next step. You'll have the rest of class today and all of your class time tomorrow to continue to work on sewing onto your fabric.